Okay, so we are in good, good neighbor. We're good, Deacon's good Deacon's wearing uh, some snazzy Han Solo clothes. That's how Deacon rolls, man. Wait, does Rex Goodman live in good neighbor? He is Han Solo. Huh? Does Rex live in good neighbor? Some people were talking about how I saved him. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, we're gonna go talk to Rufus Rubens. I talked to him a lot off camera, because he sells amazing things. He sells shipments of aluminum. But he's also... Son of a bitch. I was trying to just generically talk to you. Fucked up. But he's got work that he keeps offering me. What's the job? What's the job? Don't know if you I don't know if I mentioned this, but I am wearing ballistic weave sports uniform now instead yeah. of the the shirt. Found this hollow tape while doing repair at the Congressional Delivery Notice for a brewing machine. Pre-war. Interesting. The thing is, it was never delivered. But with all the bombs and all, got some asking around. I think it might still be intact, which is where you come. Because apparently the beer in the third rail is shit. Does he like it if I ask for money? I think Deacon likes when you just help. Okay. I'm in. Let's do it. Great. So, brewing machine is in the base. Or he might dislike when you ask for money. When you leave town, make your way around east till you hit Atlanta. Great big green sign. Bring it back here when you're done. Can do. Hey, and it's a name quest. When means I can cross it off the list I have. I do have a list of the name. Of only the names of the named quests. Just okay. for my own personal track keeping. Okay. That actually doesn't matter much now. Because we've changed slightly how we were going to do things. Yeah. I have a, I have a list Look at of that. literally only the name. I went to the Wikipedia article of a quest I already did. And I opened the, like, related, like, quests. Uh drop down thing yeah. that shows the names with the links and I just copied down the names so that's a T51 leg a T45 leg a T60 chest an XO1 arm and a 45 helmet 45 helmet no jetpack that suit's just confused about what it is and there's there was like an XO1 helmet laying on the ground next to it yo don't fuck with the D-man. Apparently they want the D. What the fuck happened up there? A party. Go see. Oh god. Super mutants fighting feral ghouls. You're the slightly more oppressing target. Super mutants are slightly harder to deal with. That was fun. That was funny. It like stumbled. Boop. We're doing God's work, Deacon. Wait a minute. Wrong series. Yo, yeah, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? We're not doing God's work. Terry does God's work. Yeah, it's Talos' work. With Durky. You don't, don't, don't confuse Fallout and Skyrim, man. That's gonna fuck me up. All We've these... already done that several times. These Bethesda games just kind of blend after a while, man. After a while, they really, really do. We've both referred to it as Skyrim. Yes, and I cried the first time. Yeah, you lost your shit. Because I got mad, and I said, God damn it, Skyrim. Yeah. And I cried. And then I said something like... I'm going to be the the something something in all of Skyrim. And I, I was like, wait a minute. We just stopped and looked at each other. Yeah, I was like, oh, wait. I didn't actually cry. I don't cry very often. I don't actually remember the last time I cried. When we finally beat Skyward Sword. You cried. Tears of joy. Gaff. Yeah.
Should have gone for the headshot. You had a boring fucking existence, Deacon. What is this? Nothing. Yeah, it looked like a thing. It is nothing. Yeah, it looked like a thing. It's a whole lot of nothing. You're going flannel now, Deacon. Yeah, hey, he's a hipster. He needs a beard and a man bun. And a air of douchebaggery about him. Come on over, baby. Whole oh, lot of shaking going in the barn. on. Twist and shout. Whenever you start doing that, the come on over, baby, I always think you're going to start doing twist and shout. Come on, come on, baby. Now come on, baby. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. You know you really got me going. Now she get a baby. Now let me work it on out. Work it on out. You know you twist so good. Twist so good. You know you twist so fine. Twist so fine. You really, really got me going now. Now let me know that you're mine. Ah, 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 ah. Now she get a baby now. Apparently, cause you know, apparently the Beatles got put on Spotify or something. Like finally, like their entire discography got yes. put on Spotify. They finally allowed apparently it. like they broke records. Yes. They had like like three million listens of their combined discography in the yeah. first twenty four hours or something. Yeah. It was some absurd number. You're not a big fan of the Beatles though, are you? Not the biggest. Neither's our father. Our dad hates the Beatles. He doesn't like them at all. I'm not a big Beatles person. Really, Deacon? I had somebody try to tell me that the Beatles were the first boy band. Mm, Beach it Boys. Be, it, yeah. I corrected them thusly. I was like, uh, no, Beach Boys were the first boy band. Well, they weren't really a boy band, though. They were like a, an actual, like, The Beach Boys were as much of a boy band. band as the Beatles were. The Beach Boys were not psychedelic They were surf rock. rock. Surf rock. So they were stoner rock, not psychedelic you, rock. Uh, you understood the point. Don't argue semantics with me, fuckfoot. They were basically a boy band. As much as the Beatles what were. What am I looking at right now? You're looking at... Is it a Protectron keg? Read the read the computer. Drinking... Bu it's a Protectron keg! It's a brewing machine. Cowardly. Now it could be reverted. So why are there boy bands, right, but girl groups? Because people like alliteration. Boy band, girl group. Is that the only difference? B B G G. Is that the only difference? That's the only difference I can surmise. Uh, people like alliteration. There's also less girl groups in boy bands, historically. Because girl groups don't really have an audience to appeal to. Because, like, look at boy bands. Boy bands appeal to a female audience because the female females typically are more avid fans of that kind of pop music. And they like looking at the boys in the band, right? So they've got two advantages there. 
they the the girls like the music and the visual of the boy band. Guys, typically, this is not an end all be all, so don't give me any fucking microaggression, fucking binary bullshit on this. Fuck, fuck's sake. But guys, typically, don't really listen to girl group music. Like, I don't know many guys who, who like, bought, like, Spice Girls albums. Yeah, I know you. I never bought a... I didn't buy the Spice Girls album. But you're album. a big fan of the Spice Girls. I'm not a big fan of the Spice what Girls. What were... It was, uh, Posh, Ginger, Baby, Scary, and, uh, the other one, right? Sporty. There you go. Posh, Ginger, Baby, Scary, and Sporty. I think the um, fact that between the two of us, we just named all the Spice Girls kind of defeats your point. Well, no, but we know that. But we, we, we don't sit around and, like, you know, jam out. We have before. Ironically. Ha re but you know ironically. what I mean. You know what I mean. Not There aren't many guys who would admit. It would be kind of creepy. There aren't many one. guys who would admit to listening to the Spice Girls, who would go out and buy a Spice Girls CD, who would go to a Spice Girls concert, for fuck's sake. It's Spice and, I mean, it's just, girl groups don't really, they don't have an audience to, to appeal to. Because... The girl, the female audience, is going to be more into the boy band because they get to, you know, for lack of a better way of saying it, lust after the boy band. I mean, the they might, the they might like the girl group's music, but they're going to be more drawn to go to the shows with the boy bands because they get to be like, oh my god, JC, touch me, whatever, you know? It's like boy bands are more successful than girl groups for that reason, because boy bands have a very have a have a wider target audience. So how are we going to play this? Cold and refreshing. You know how long it's been since I had cold beer? Very good. I appear to be operating... Oh god, you have a choice. <laughs> okay, let me tell you right now. This quest will never complete until he goes to Hotel Rexford. Okay. I'm probably going to send him there anyway. Okay. I wasn't sure if you were going to send him to Sanctuary. Yeah. Oh, God, no. Is this life now? Is this life now? What? Do I have to follow it all the way to Hotel Rexford? I fast traveled and he showed up, but he's not essential. So I'm following, I'm gonna follow him all the way to Hotel Rexford. I don't think this is far from Hotel Rexford. I don't think this is far it's from not, Good I could have walked. Yeah, this ain't far from Good Neighbor. You know, it's hard to be a good, good neighbor. It's better than fucking... Being, okay. It's him better than being, being an armed escort for the vault tech rep from Good Neighbor to Sanctuary, I'll tell you that being much. Being essential is all the more reason I shouldn't have him at a settlement. That took me an hour and a half. Not being essential is all the more reason I shouldn't keep him at a settlement. Wait a minute, didn't I find an alcohol recipe like way, way, way yeah. early into the game? There and were we a few thought of them. it would let me cook it at the commission? Yeah. We're stupid. I there were a few of them. I found, like, like Gwennett Stout or something. Yeah. There's a few of them you can find. Okay, how close are we to Good Neighbor? Oh, we're close as shit. Yeah, we can walk. But no, dude. I'm s An hour and a half it took me to get the vault Tech rep oh. from Good Neighbor to Sanctuary oh, with me and cool. Deacon as his armed escort. Because he dies like a little bitch. He goes down just... I'm taking... I'm going ahead of you, buddy. It's 
That was comedic. I'm not fucking around. Like, night, night, like the fucking, the vault tech rep goes down like Paris Hilton on a night vision camera. Just. Did you ever watch A Night in Paris? I've seen it, yes. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are, uh, I don't know why anybody would want to spend a night in Paris. I don't find Paris Hilton attractive, and I never have. I have, I have never found her physically attractive at all. Why well, isn't she just famous because her dad owns a hotel chain? She's famous because she's the heiress to the Hilton fortune. That's why she's famous. Why isn't don't she's they have famous a, because she has rich parents? That is why she's famous. Don't they have a fortune exclusively because they own a hotel chain? She she's a celebutante. Area. Yes, that is the only reason her family is wealthy. They have a hotel chain. Yes. Of slightly above Motel Six hotels. She she's a celebutante. That is all she is. Aren't like Hilton just like a little bit above Motel Six? She she's famous for being rich. Oh what the hell? What's happening? No, Hilton. Hilton uh, owns Flamingo. Oh, they do. I'll yeah. Owned Hiltons. The Flamingo is a is Hilton. It's the Flamingo Hilton. He's gonna die, and I'm gonna be so sad. And Hilton is an international hotel corporation. Buddy is gonna. I think Buddy's gonna die. At least I don't think he's essential. How's his HP? That much. Buddy can take some punishment, though. He's, like, going after shit by himself now. He's aggroed to them. They're hostiles. Okay, buddy. We're done. They're dead. I killed them all. Winning! Oh, he's back to full health. He regens really quickly. He's non-essential. He's back to full health. He's not essential. He just actually can take a hit. He's back to full health. Piano. Yeah, no. I, I never... I never... I never found... Paris Hilton attractive, and as far as I'm concerned, she's like one of the scummiest people on the earth. Honestly, Paris Hilton is worse than a Kardashian. There, I said it. They have a TV show. So did Paris. Did she? Yeah. She had a stupid show uh, with Nicole Richie for a while. Isn't Nicole Richie another person who's famous because she's famous? She's famous because she's Lionel Richie's daughter. That is a funny sentence. Nicole Richie is famous because she's the daughter of a famous singer. It's like that whole that whole group, like Does Buddy have a flamer? I think so. That whole group, uh Paris Hilton, Kim Kardashian, Nicole Richie, they all became famous because they're rich. That's it. Isn't Kim Kardashian they didn't actually do anything? Isn't Kim Kardashian famous because Bruce Jenner has a vagina? 
No, Kim Kardashian is famous. That was an amazing sentence. Kim Kardashian is... That sentence is the reason why the English language is beautiful. Kim Kardashian is famous because she's the stepdaughter of Bruce Jenner. Who is Caitlyn now Jenner. famous because he has a vagina. No, Bruce Jenner, Bruce Jenner was famous Olympian. for being an Olympian athlete. Caitlyn, 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 Caitlyn Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner is, is whoring her fame to get attention. Uh, centered around him. Honestly, vagina. honestly, okay, I, I have, I, I think transgender people are. Hate me. No, probably don't hate you. You know what? A lot of transgender people are sick and tired of Caitlyn Jenner, too. Because uh, Caitlyn Jenner has no idea. No idea. With, like, some of the comments about, you Doesn't know... Doesn't Caitlyn Jenner, like, hate gay people? Caitlyn Jenner is against gay marriage. Um, Caitlyn Jenner is, is, is a hardcore Republican. Um, okay. Ka Caitlyn Jenner, um, basically, like, it, it was a little while back came out and said, well, you know, if you're, if you're transgender, you should do everything you can to look like the, the gender that you identify with. Basically saying, you know, to make people feel more comfortable about you as a transgender person, you should go get plastic surgery and try to look as much like the gender that you're trying to be. And it's like, you dumb, rich cunt, regular trans people don't have the money you have and you have no clue what they're going through, even though you're pretending you think you do. So Buddy is somehow healing. Like, Caitlyn Jenner has it easy because Caitlyn Jenner has money, and that's the thing she doesn't understand. And she's not a transgender hero. She's a fucking... She's an... I don't like Caitlyn Jenner as much as I didn't like Bruce Jenner. Like, just because... Just because Bruce Jenner became Caitlyn Jenner, my opinion of that person did not change. I couldn't stand Bruce Jenner, and I can't stand Caitlyn Jenner. Didn't he like, that entire family... Like, I was reading a thing, or I was watching something, and they were talking about Bruce Jenner. Apparently, like, he was giving some kind of speech, like, a commencement address for some school or something. Or, like, at, like, some banquet or something. And, like, he got a phone call, like, while he was giving his speech. And took it! Yeah, and instead of just, like, doing the thing and, like, sorry, shutting it off, apparently he, like, took the call. Yeah, and that's my thing. My my disliking Caitlyn Jenner has nothing to do with the fact that Caitlyn Jenner is transgender. I I, I just dislike that. In, I just dislike that uh, entire family and everything they stand for. I hope. Um. Yeah. I, I I dislike that entire family and everything they stand for. Buddy, I didn't like Bruce Jenner, and I don't like Caitlyn Jenner. They, they're they're all a bunch of attention whore. You gotta keep fucking moving, buddy. You gotta snooty keep moving. ass, buddy. You've gotta keep moving. Scumbag people. I'm sorry, Caitlyn Jenner is a scumbag. Bruce Jenner was a scumbag. Caitlyn Jenner is a scumbag. Just because you just because you come out about your your gender identity doesn't stop you from being a scumbag. Buddy, what is it you want to kill kill? You can, you can, you can, you can, uh... Ow! Buddy has a flamer arm. Now what are you doing? Uh, checking something that I think I saw online to help, to help this whole thing.
Buddy has like some legit blood rage. You put your good neighbor clothes back on? <laughs> but yeah, no, and that's that's the problem. I think a lot of people are afraid to come out oh, and and say that you know they're they're sick and goddamn tired of Caitlyn Jenner or they don't like Caitlyn Jenner because they're afraid of being called a bigot. I'm sorry, I don't care. I just like people for the person they are. I'm not afraid to say I don't like somebody just because they're a member of a certain group. If I don't like somebody as a person, I don't like them as a person. If they're a scumbag person, I don't give a fuck. Oh, that wasn't a good. That wasn't a good sound. No wig this time. God, this is what? This is taking like half an hour. You're you're almost there. Come on, buddy. It takes a while because they walk. Well, this is as fast as Protectrons go, anyway. This is about as fast as a Vault Tech rep goes too when you escort him. At least Buddy can take a wicket. Now you know why it took me an hour and a half. And Buddy keeps getting back to full health somehow. Yeah, I had to reload twice because the vault Tech rep can't take a hit. Deacon, you stay with Buddy. Did you know that it's good to be a good, good neighbor? Credit it. I noticed. Because when you crit, you always hit. That rhymed. You always hit when you crit. You always hit when you crit. Don't give a shit. Too legit. Hear me spit. Listen to the words I spit. I'm not going to hit When you song. crit, you don't give a shit and you always hit. You can move to the left a little bit. You got fun time. I don't think a dog could take five. I don't think it would take six 10 millimeter bullets to kill a dog. In real life. What are your thoughts? I, I don't think that would... Yeah, no. That that I think one. One and they're done. Hooray. Good lord. Like that was the episode. That was it that was. Now Me let's go walking, get him there. drinking, buddy. Let's 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 escort him the rest of the way. Hancock, I'm supporting local microbreweries. Oh my god, you're a hipster. I have to put him down. Nope. Don't do that. Well, the recipes he uses are still for, like, mass-produced uh, corporate beer. So you're not really a hipster.
Remember, hipsters don't drink Budweiser or Coors or Miller because that's just mass-produced mainstream beer. They got to drink, you know, the chestnut raspberry, chestnut raspberry wheat ale from from the the Potika Hipwa microbrewery up in the Navajo plains of of of, of Flannel Junction. Did the Navajo live on the plains? I don't know. We're Cherokee, not Navajo. I have no idea. I don't know. I'm just trying to sound like a hipster. We could ask Tim McGraw. He would know. I'm just trying... No. Uh, he's, Ch he's half Cherokee and half Choctaw. He's baby. She's a Chippewa. She's one of a kind. Yeah, he's not Navajo. I don't know. I'm just trying to sound like a hipster, you know? Say a whole bunch of fucking words that sound fancy, but I don't actually know what the fuck I'm talking about. You know, like a hipster. He revives libations. I don't really think I need to worry about sounding like a dick, because I think I've lamented on this show. I got my money from Rufus! I think, I think there's at least five episodes of every series where I lament on this show how much I hate hipsters. Oh my god, he tells jokes. Yes! Tell me a joke. Yes, this is where I got the joke. I love the laugh. Ah, ah, ah. Yep. His friend says, Well, I'm supposed to finish the calendar, but I guess if I don't, it's not the end of the world. Would you like a cold wine or tea? <laughs> I love this too much. Oh, this is the rest of the game. Okay. I'm going to get that recipe that I found. We're going to go get the recipe, bring it to Buddy, and then we'll open with a joke next time. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay nerdy.